I'm still gon' yell it every time you see me in What's my favorite word? Why they gotta say it like short? You know Welcome back to another episode of Rose and Gold. I'm your host, Black King Sebastian. And this is my lovely co-host, Dr. Ross. Every ting is every ting. Dr. Ross and I just want to congratulate our winners once again for the She's Hot contest. As you all know, was Miss Irina Shack. Congratulations. And we also want to congratulate our winner for none other than our Jamaican products. For Miss Sandra Brown. You will be receiving your products soon. They're getting shipped to you right now. So get excited for that. Let's get straight into these hot topics. What's your first hot topic, Black King? Our first hot topic is actually with Gal Gadot and Patty Jenkins. They're saying that they're going to reunite for the Wonder Woman 3. I give the film a thumbs down, in my opinion. I'm going to agree with you right there, Black King Sebastian. So they should cut this, since this was not Gal Gadot's best role. Because if she doesn't have a good director with the film, find another profession. Well, I mean, the thing I'm going to say, Black King Sebastian, is that's how all movies go. If you don't have a good director, the movie's going to be, it's not going to be good. And if you have a good director, the movie's going to be, you know, it's going to be good. Exactly. And that's just how it is. The thing I want to say about the movie, though, Gal Gadot, she looked beautiful as always, so that's a plus for the movie already, already bringing in money and fans for the movie, but the storyline was a little bit weak, a little bit cheesy. The best part for me was the golden suit. We'll insert it right here. Exactly. Let's move into our next hot topic with the Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp posts holiday message to many fans amid the new legal fights. This year has been so hard for me. Johnny, I don't know about, I don't know about Black King Sebastian and I, but our year has been fantastic. And your year has probably been a little bit hard because your ex-wife is being a little bit scandalous, trying to take every money, every single dollar out of you, but it's, and it's you, okay, you're going to get through it, Johnny. In this photo right here, you look rough, though. But enough of that. Let's move into our next hot topic with the Gemmer Arterton. So, Gemma Arterton says that she regrets her role in Quantum of Solace, the 007 film. Don't regret your role. You took the role and you auditioned for it and you got it. They could have hired anyone else and you decided to audition for it. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. This is exactly, I don't mean to sound like Cat Williams, but this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Do and Dr. Ross, didn't she get a paycheck for this film? Yes, yes she did. Then enough of that already. On a side note though, Black King Sebastian, I would have personally loved to take her role, and that's what we do as actors and actresses. We take other people's roles because if you're not prepared for it, you know there's the Walmart down the street that's always hiring. Step aside, let the exactly. new generation come in. But we're not going to talk about this anymore because she got notoriety, got fame, got paid for a role that she played in, and the movie came out successful. So let's get into our next hot topic. This topic, I'm, you know, I'm kind of proud that LeBron James is coming out and he's putting his foot down. His son, he's telling you guys exactly right. His son, Bronny James, just turned 16 in October, but there was a little bit of a mess. He slid into... Larsa Pimpin's DM saying all types of craziness and there were people saying things like uh oh y'all fucked with the wrong one good luck it won't be cute and LeBron James came out and he screenshotted everything that you guys had to say about his son and he said with everything going on the in the world right now this is the shit you're talking about at the end of the day you guys are talking about a minor and I don't care about what type of celebrity you think he is he's a child and the bullshit needs to stop and yes you got the right one I'll be coming for you and you know first of all he's not gonna be coming for anyone but second of all he doesn't I think, need to turn, I think this is entertaining he doesn't need to turn into the next uh, few not the future the Steve Harvey going crazy this DJ on your station can come 92 3 the mix you can just bring him in Famous people ain't saying that. See, that's it right there. We done. It's a wrap. Thanks for coming, folks. We're out of here. It's a 15 second commercial spot. I can't believe we didn't all came to Atlanta for 15 seconds. And LeBron, player, you need to sit down. If your son wants to go out there at 16 and start playing with the players, getting the players circle, let him go out there. Let him dip his fingers into the water. But LeBron, you need to sit down. Stop. From one player to another, the people you're going after are probably people you know, but they'll be ready for you. I let's just... move into our next hot topic. Yes, let's go into our next hot topic. The one thing I wanted to say about this topic is 
I think it's just funny that this whole thing is over him trying to slide into Larsa Pimpin's DMs. It's not that big of a deal. But let's get into our next hot topic. Lisa Renna excludes Scott Disick from the family Christmas photo. So, Scott Disick took a Christmas photo with the whole family, you know, Larsa, not Larsa, Lisa Renna, the daughter, everyone, and Lisa Renna cut him out of the photo. Scott, <laughs> one thing I have to say, hopefully you made like a player and did not care. Hopefully you went to the club after that and not moping around whining. Yes, sir. We've already revoked your player's card. We're going to have to take the player status away from you pretty soon. These were all of our hot topics, but we want to congratulate our winners for the She's Hot Contest as well as the or our Jamaican products. Exactly. The Irina Shack and the Sandra Brown. Congratulations on your wins. Exactly. And to the Dolly Parton. That's for you, Dolly World. Not to change subjects. That's for you, Kylie Jenner. We'll catch you on the next song. We'll catch you on the next song. Rose and gold.